map is, of course, Korhal Floating Island, presented by SK Planet. Spawning whoa, up. Whoa, the... whoa. What? Whoa. Where did that probe go? Oh, holy crap. Hold on, guys. Hold your horses. Whoa. We have a fast proxy pro a probe moving out. It's going to probably go for some type of proxy play, but uh, we don't ever see this in the matchup. Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry for cutting you off, man, but... It's okay, because I didn't even know the probe left the base. I was just like, eh, whatever. And then... <sighs> okay, well, so... Looks like we're going to see this happen. Seems like he was, he's expecting Jadong to go for 15 hatch. Yeah, and it's you know gonna what? It's going to work out perfectly if Jadong does play greedy. The thing is, Jadon is a little... He's kind of known for going for the 15 hatch. He's done that in the past, and this is going to be a proxy 8 gate here, guys. So this is about wow. as fast as you can get a Zealot out. The Double. probe, will it go into the main base or and help with the Zealot, or will it go back to mine at Trap's main? Well, if it's an 8 gate, he's not going to go back, man. He's pre it's pretty much do or die in this situation, especially in this matchup. This is, like, actually an incredibly all-in yeah. build here. And, oh, I mean, double 8 gateway. Wow. So let's see what Jadong decides to do. Up to 15 drones. Uh-oh. Here comes the drone, and he's going to go uh -oh. for the hatchery. Uh-oh. Oh. This is what you call a build order loss. And, <laughs> okay, guys, so well, let's let's recap a little bit here. This is a double eight gate all in, and normally you proxy gates never work against Zerg, but if you go for the double eight gate, which is the fastest you can get zealots out, if your opponent goes hatchery first, it can work. It can work, but the real question is, will the overlords got it? No. Not uh, even. It's not even close. Not even close. Uh, now, it will spot the uh, the Zealots when they come out, but smartly trap, he's going to wait for three Zealots before it comes out. I guarantee you, Jadon has not anticipated this attack no matter what. And he doesn't scout his opponent with the drone, so once he goes in with the overlord, he's going to be expecting, oh, gateway expand. Yeah. He's going to think gate expand now. We do have the... Oh, uh, here we go. And now, here come the Zealots. Jadon... Oh, oh so my God! Smart. Oh my, so smart. Going into the main base. I want to see Jadon's face as soon as he sees this. He's gonna be like, oh, oh, oh my crap. God! Do you guys just see that? He was, he was surprised. He's like, whoa, Zealots! What are they doing here? Jadon, no, he is in a huge amount of trouble. He needs to get that queen out. He needs to make Zerglings. It's so important for him to defend against this, this attack here. Two more Zealots on the way. Jadon essentially is on zero economy right now. And if the Zealots get a good uh, surround on these Zerglings here, then there's absolutely nothing that our Zerg player can do. Uh, none of the Zerglings managed to die. They all are able to get out, but... Man, this is just going to be a very scary looking game. Jadon, is he going to actually just go for the base race? That wow. may be what he wants to do here. Spawn Crawler going down in the main base. He's going to do the best that he can to defend against this. Also, he canceled the hatchery at the third base. Another important thing to note, hatchery does get canceled at the main base. Queen is up at the natural. Is it going to die, though? That's the real question. Now, remember, Jadong did defend against a six pull with a 15 hatch back in Wings of Liberty. So he did something impossible back in Wings. Can he actually pull it off once again today? Oh, nice around with the drugs. And now the Zerglings are going into Trap's main base. All Jadong has to do is just buy enough time, stall, 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 hold on, and he wow. will eventually be able to take a victory. This is going to be very close. Either way, Jadon has to defend against five Zealots, and that queen, it's so low on health. One more hit, and it will go down. Is that queen going to die? That's the real question here. And, ah! oh, the queen does go down. Jadon currently behind in supply. The Zerglings, they are going to try the kill off. Uh, that uh, Nexus there. Essentially, Jadon, he has to buy time. That's what he needs right now. He needs to keep buying enough time and, you know, somehow hold on, maybe try to go for an elimination race. The problem is he doesn't have, uh, he doesn't have enough economy to get more units out, so this uh -oh. is all he has. Six Zealots there going to be able to snipe off one of the drones. This is just going to be a really, really tough decision or position for Jadon to recover from. Smartly, we have Zealots all over the place here, and now Trap slowly, uh, he's going to be eating away at these buildings. He needs to go, if he wants a chance to win this game, he needs to go for the gateways right now, while also going for the Nexus at the same time. The Nexus is almost down, Trap does not have enough economy, so now it's a race against time. Who is going to take down the buildings first? 
Well, these Zealots, they can always come and help defend against these uh, gateways here in the pylon, but I mean, even with those two Zealots, though, they're going to be able to start killing the natural hatchery, the main hatchery. Nothing there, but I mean, it's not uh, worth much anymore beyond being a building. Now it looks like our STX Soul Player, his buildings have been revealed. Jadon knows exactly what's going on here, but he's going to lose his hatchery as well. And with those three Zealots defending at that location, I don't think Jadon can do anything in this position. He is going to end up losing this game. This is just really unfortunate. Jadon trying his best until the very last second, but now he's down to one hatchery. Very smart moving those units away here. And now Jadon is going to try to go for a surround. This is his essentially last hope here. He's got some Zerglings, he's got some drones, but the Zealot count, it's just way too much for Jadon. I really don't know what else to say, man. I mean, this is really unfortunate for Jadong. He played through the WCS qualifiers. He prepared so hard for today's Pro League, and now the time is ticking away. Jadong needs to take out the gateways in the pylon or get rid of the Zealous, but that's up to seven Zealous. He cannot pull this off even with perfect micro. Yes. Unless, um, unless uh, Trap decides to give away three units. Even with perfect micro, Jadon simply, he doesn't have enough units to defend in this situation, and this is essentially going to be it. There's not much time left. Once that hatchery falls, that's going to be it for Jadon. He's going to have no units after this to really, you know, do anything at this point. Oh, but so smart, Jadon. Really smart. Does not want to give up. He wants to go for the fantasy GG timing at this point. Uh, just trying to delay as much as possible. Does he have something? Does he know something that we don't know? That's the real question here. Or is he just doing his best to hold on until he's really forced out of this game? He's just going to try it until the very last second. But this is going to be an awkward situation for Jadon because now he really can't win the game. Oh, but this is really smart. The building was made after the hatcher was, get, uh, hatcher was taken out, so he doesn't see the assimilator actually. And now he's oh, going to see it because the hatcher go. does get taken out. Three Zalas with the drones! Can Jadon do the impossible? The Zealot Micro is good. Zerglings are going down. Those three Zealots not dead yet. Unfortunately for Jadon, their health will their health will regenerate. And now that extractor, it is revealed. Jadon down the five Zerglings, five drones, and that's going to be it. That is the last game. Trap with the incredibly ballsy build manages to take out Jadon, abusing the fact that he goes for that 15 hatchery and. STX Soul will take down Evil Genius's Team Liquid for the two. That is a pretty intense last game there, but STX Soul, they deserve the victory. They they brought it out, man. They brought it. You know, like we said, a win is a win. A win is a win, and I have to say, man, I can't believe that Trap went for that build, but the fact that he went for it, like, wow. He basically, the reason why he did that is because his team studied Jadong. They saw that he loves the go for the 15 hatchery in this matchup. And you know what? He just abused that fact, and he went for the double proxy gateway, and he was able to grab the win because of it. Yeah, if you do something like this on ladder, it's not going to work out, you know, maybe only 5% of the time because most players go for the 14 pull and then the hatchery. But like you said, he studied the opponent really well and just abused it. Jadong did not have any answer. He tried to go for the base race. He tried his best, but he just didn't have any units in the end. Uh, I mean, I have to say that was still uh, a really good defense from him. We had a lot of amazing matches today as well. Uh, I got to say from, from both of the, the, the matches today, SK Telecom versus 